Hey guys, welcome to the video. Uh, today I'm going to be making a night light. Uh, basically going to be made out of 3mm acrylic and I'm going to pop that into a wooden light base. Uh, so I'm going to start in light burn. I'm just going to import the picture of a tractor. And I'm going to flip that around, get that centered up. And I'm going to just type in a name here. So the name that I'm using today is Liam. So I'll get that typed in uh, into the font that I've chosen here. And I'll just resize that to fit. Um, somewhere around there. Okay, so now that I've got that set where I want it, I'm just going to go ahead, go ahead here and click. Group all this. I'm going to group that together. And I'm going to do an outline. So basically create an outline. So you do that by clicking on this icon here. And you can go ahead here. You can move this. Um, so as you can see when I click up and down. Um, you can set that outline to where you want it. Basically there is probably good for me. Go ahead and click that. Uh, then I'm just going to go in. I'm going to I'll remove them later. I'm going to create a bottom section. So this is actually the part that's going to sit into the wooden base. Um, now the wooden base slot that I have in mind is about 11.5, about 11.5 and a half centimetres. Uh, so I'm just going to basically set that and make it about 24, 25 mil. I think it'll sit in about 20 mil. So I'm just going to line that up there along the bottom. So just overlap it a little bit and then I'm going to weld these two together. So I'm selecting both those objects and I'm just going to click on this weld button here. And you can see that all becomes one object now. Uh, what I do need to do though is go in and delete these little sections. So to do that I've got to click and then ungroup. Uh, and then you can individually select these and remove them. So if I leave them in there they would end up getting cut out. Um, so I'm just going to remove them because I don't really need them in there at all. Uh, so basically what's going to happen is it's going to engrave the tractor and the name Liam. And then it's going to cut that outside line. So I'm going to go ahead and resize this now. Um, I probably want it around 15 centimeters high. So I'll leave the width basically where it falls. Um, so that's pretty much the design there, basically. So again, that bottom part just pops into the wooden the wooden light, and you'll see that later on in the video. Um, so I'm going to select the outside line there, and I've got that set to a cut line. Uh, this is 3mm acrylic, so uh, I'm just going to leave it at 12mm a second and 40% power to cut that outside, and then I'm just going to engrave um, the inside. So I'm going to select red because that's my engraved colour. And I've got that set up at 200 mils a second and 25% power. So I'm running an 80 watt machine. Um, so it'd be interesting to see how this one comes out. But I think that that's probably a good setting for the engrave. Uh, so you can click on preview here and you can see here that it's going to take 17 minutes to run this. Uh, that's to do the engraving and then to cut it out. Um, you can actually go into, when you click on the engrave here, you've got... Uh, fill shapes individually there's a couple of options there you can select and you can select different ones and that will give you a different time uh, sometimes it's quicker sometimes it's not this this case here sort of seems to be the same either way so i'm just going to keep it on this middle one that i normally have it set on um, so yeah that's basically about it so it's going to engrave the the tractor and the name and then cut out that black line so i'm just going to go ahead and save this um, and i'll save it to my usb and then i'll pop that into the laser and we'll uh, get it cut out So I'll just save that as Liam, Liam Light, click OK, and saved. So yeah, we'll jump over to the laser and we'll uh, run the file. All right, guys, here we are back at the laser. So I'm just going to get this set up and we'll chuck in some material. Again, this is just going to be some three millimeter clear acrylic. Um, so I'll just get this set up. We'll do a uh, quick frame. Uh, so I use that red dot sight there or red dot line. Uh, just basically to frame it out so I can see where the design's going to lay. So I'll just set this up here. Happy there, hit the origin button and then hit the frame button. And I'll get the air turned on and also the extraction. And uh, we'll run the file. started so again here this is uh, 
basically engraving at uh, 200 millimeters a second and 25 percent power now this is an 80 watt machine so i have done some testing on acrylic and this seems to work pretty well it engraves it's probably about a millimeter deep um, on the 25 percent power so i feel that that's you know pretty good um, and the speed is also good i won't bore you with the whole video of it running like this as i did say previously it takes about 17 minutes to run the whole file um, so I will go ahead and speed the video up just a little bit um, and then we'll pop back at the end and see how it turns out but uh, it looks like it's going to be pretty good uh, you can already see there that it's a nice clean engrave um, again I don't have the air assist turned on there's only a little bit of air blowing out the bottom of that at the moment just to protect that lens um, but the air assist will kick on when it starts to cut so again I'll speed it up a little bit and we'll pop back and um, see how it turns out at the end So it's just finishing up the engrave now. So once this L's done, it'll then jump over to cutting it out. So again here, the air assist is now kicked on and I'm cutting this out at 12 millimeters a second with 40% power. Uh, this thing does cut with less power, uh, but from what I had it set up in my burn, it's easy leave it the same as what it would be if it was cutting, you know, MDF or fly. Um, I don't really see any major difference in changing those settings, to be honest with you. This cuts through actually really nice. It leaves quite a nice edge uh, on the acrylic once it cuts it out. Uh, as I said before, I have done some testing on acrylic. I do need to do a little bit more. Um, I have run test cards as well, and um, uh, I don't know, from what I found, they were a little bit inconsistent with um, the speeds and things like that that I had had them set up. Uh, so again, I do need to do sort of a little bit more testing. But again, uh, you know, this will cut out quite nicely, I think. So let's have a look here. Get it out of the way. Give this a bit of a shake. Now it comes. Okay, so this is what we've got left with. And as you can see, there's a bit of powder on the top of there, so I'll give that a bit of a wipe off. But all in all, I think that's turned out really good. Um, see if I can turn it there if you can see the depth it's maybe a millimetre deep maybe not quite um, but it's definitely a nice clean engrave there's no doubt about that and the edges look pretty good too so uh, yeah <clears throat> take this over to the bench and um, yeah we'll get it cleaned up and we'll pop it in and see what it looks like alright guys time to get this thing put together so this is how it turned out back and front uh, it's got some white powder on there so i'm just going to give that a bit of a wipe down with the rag 
and just get rid of that dust. Okay, so these are the light bases. So I just purchased these on eBay. Um, they're just an LED light base with a USB port or cable, I guess I should say. Um, so yeah, they're about 10 bucks each, I think. So I'm just gonna peel off this um, outer layer. But as you can see here, you can see the edge there, the cut, it's pretty clean. Nice, very nice cut, I think. So yeah, I'll get this peeled off and uh, yeah, we'll pop back and uh, get it all put in. Turn it on, see what it looks like. Okay, got all that peeled off. So as you can see here, it looks pretty good. This is a good engrave, nice cut. I'm really happy with that actually. So yeah, it's just a matter of basically popping it inside the, uh, the light block here. And then I'll plug that in and turn it on and we'll see what it looks like. And there we have it, I'll just turn off this backlight. And there we go. So that's actually come out really good. I'm really happy with that. Looks nice. It's a quick little project, very easy to do. As you can see, 17 minutes on the machine, probably took me five minutes to set up the design in Lightburn. And uh, yeah, a couple minutes there just to peel off that paper and wipe it down and basically pop it together. So all in all, probably looking at about 25 minutes start to finish maybe. So yeah, I'm really happy with that and very happy with how it turned out. Uh, if you guys liked the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, that way you can be uh, be on the ball when I post new videos. And uh, yeah, I appreciate it, guys. So I'll leave it at that now and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.